Hi, hello, and welcome to The Notebook Nook with me, Mera. This is a place to unwind and reflect on our day-to-day -day life, sprinkled with some bookish convos and, of course, some stories of my life. If that's something that sparks your interest, you're more than welcome to join the venture that I call The Notebook Nook. Hi, hello, this is Esmeralda, and welcome here to my podcast today. I actually had a very deep realization, uh, actually for the past couple of days, but for sure today I really went in depth with it. Like I started to have kind of like an epiphany, like a big boom moment, right? And I started to think a lot about our own light within ourselves. And when I mean the light within ourselves, I mean like who we are as an individual, what sparks joy in ourselves what sparks happiness within ourselves and for me it was always to make people laugh and just to kind of smile and I don't know bring joy out in people and I've always wanted to be a listening ear or to give someone some sound advice and yeah just trying to be very inclusive with so many things and so many people and I think sometimes that has caused <laughs> certain issues in my life because of that. Uh, people would think that because I was very social and very happy and giggly and bubbly that somehow that meant I was being fake. And I was even told that the reason some people didn't like me was because I smiled too much. I uh, seemed to have been Miss uh, Goody Two Shoes, somebody who I guess never gets in trouble. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people probably heard that phrase before. Or also like, I don't know, some people thought that maybe I was too obnoxiously nice or and especially actually <laughs> talk too much, uh, that I'm very opinionated when I talk too much. And I could kind of see where that one was. Like I, I felt like, okay, I kind of see where that one's going. But it was the smiling and the laughing that really kind of started to get to me. And the thing is, these kinds of things shouldn't get to you, especially if it's something positive. Like, it's not like you're hurting somebody. You're not being mean to anybody. People are just not liking the fact that you're enjoying life kind of thing or that you're smiling and they think it's not genuine. I had to kind of walk back a few steps to kind of really see the whole picture, right, of what they were seeing. And these individuals, I realized first of all, didn't know the life that I lived. They have not walked in my shoes. And I don't know how their life has been if they don't believe in true happiness or true joy, maybe based off of what they've been through. So I personally till today cannot really judge these individuals for that. Because maybe, I don't know, maybe they were going through it in their own life. I'm, I honestly don't know. It can be a bit hurtful to hear those kinds of things. Because sometimes you go around and you think, well, wait a minute. Like, that should not affect me. That should not hurt my feelings. It should not make me feel some type of way. But in those kinds of things, they do. And you're only human. So these kinds of things can affect you. And these kind of comments and opinions about you can really genuinely kind of mess with you, you know, mess with your mind kind of thing. But the more I started thinking about it, I was like, you know, I think what to me is that it didn't bother me so much that they said these things, but it's that I could not fully comprehend why. Uh, why did it bother them that I smiled? Why did it bother them that I would laugh or giggle? Why does it bother them that I love to socialize and talk and communicate and have a conversation with people? I think that was something that I couldn't really wrap my head around. And I realize that it doesn't matter how much I think about these people and why they've came to that conclusion. I will probably not change their mind. All I can do is work on myself and accept myself for who I am and really genuinely think about where, what direction I want my life to be or what direction I want my life to go. And that is when I started to think more about myself, because if I thought more about why these people were so hurt about me being my genuine, authentic self, instead of me doubting myself and being like, well, am I not happy? Am I not this? Because it does. It gets to your head and you start to think about like, well, is there a reason for me to smile? And all of that, I was starting to get in my head for a little bit. But then I started thinking, you know what, Esmeralda? You have lived a life that there may be people who've lived very similar lives to you. but 
at the end of the day, it has been your life. You lived it a certain way and you've experienced things in your life that you never want anyone in your life to live through these things and through these events or these life lessons that you went through. And so to me, I'm like, you know, even after everything I've been through, somehow in my adult life, I was able to genuinely give out a smile, make somebody laugh, even make someone's day by just complimenting them on on the most minute or simplest little thing. To me, that meant so much more than somebody's opinion about me because I realized that at the end of the day, everybody is going to have an opinion about you, whether it's good or bad. You can either hold on to all the bad that people tell you, or you're going to hold on to all the good things that people tell you. And I've had way more people tell me how thankful they were or how grateful they were that I made them feel, you know, appreciated and loved. Everything that I do is because I genuinely feel that in that moment, you needed that laugh. You needed that smile. You needed that moment to really embrace some happiness, some joy. So I started to think, you know, at the end of the day, as more and more I started thinking about it, I was like, you know what? I am who I am. And another thing and nobody would change that. Like I have the choice to maintain being myself or to no longer smile, to no longer laugh, just to make certain people comfortable. And that didn't sit right with me. In high school, I was the type of person that I wasn't into any particular clique. I was the type of person that was a floater. I kind of got along with everybody. And even people who were kind of more standoffish, like they didn't have a lot of friends, they were kind of loners, I would approach them and say, hey, what did you think about class and so forth and have like a just a little small kind of conversation. And to me, I wanted to do that Not so that I can go around to everybody saying, hey, did you know I talked to so-and-so? I know hardly no one talks to them, but I talk to them. No, I would keep actually that to myself. And I would just have that moment with that individual or individuals that were kind of to themselves. And I wanted them to just feel appreciated or wanted them to feel acknowledged or seen. And I wanted to kind of give my extended hand of kind of a friendship And be able to be like, hey, you know, you can talk to me if you ever need to talk to, you know, somebody. And I just wanted to be kind of an open, all-inclusive kind of person. Like, I just genuinely want to be a really good person. I wanted people to feel welcome and invited because I know how it felt to not be included in certain things or to be picked last in line. Certain things like that, you know, you grow up and you see that and you're like, hmm, I didn't like the way that felt, you know, I didn't like the way this individual said this to me and made me feel. So therefore, let me try to change it and hopefully somebody else won't have to feel that way, or at least not through me. I wanted to always work on myself and be a better person. At the end of the day, I am a human being. I make mistakes. I learn from those mistakes. And those mistakes or those lessons that I go through are going to be things that are going to keep molding me and changing me into a better, hopefully a better person in the future. So to me, I take these all like life lessons. And I know that when people are very quick to judge you as an individual, they probably judge you because of the way you dress. Maybe you love big flamboyant kind of outfits. But society sometimes says, "Mm, that's a little too much. Or let's say you like to dye your hair and have fun with it. Or you like to style your natural hair and do what you want with it. Some parts of society may look at you like, "Mm, that's a little too much. Maybe you need to tone it down a little bit. Let me tell you something. In life, you only have one life. One life and that is it. So while we're here on this earth sharing it with a multitude of diverse people, diverse cultures and languages and everything, we have so much variety. We have so many individual personalities and individuals that just make this world more exciting, more different. I love seeing that. I love seeing diversity. That is actually something that I definitely tell with my son, you know, that I want him to be his genuine self. But I also want him to accept and understand that there's other people with different backgrounds and different cultures and different beliefs and um 
yeah, like their different looks, everything. And just to kind of accept and be in harmony with these people. We are all human beings. We should all be able to be our own individual self. And a lot of the times you grow up and people say, well, you're a little too much. And that actually makes me think of somebody. And his name is Peter Mon. He has various YouTube channels actually right now. But one of the ones I want to zone in on is his actual Peterism channel that he has. In there, he shares stories of his life. He also does a lot of self-help books, um, kind of like food for thought, uh, meditation kind of things. And he also does a lot of like self-reflections and gives good points on stuff as well as like helps you with like self-growth. But one of his big mantras that he has that he got from somebody else, but I, I cannot remember who, um, he says, be too much. In his life, you know, he would talk about how he would sometimes be told like, hey, you're being too much right now. And people would message him and send him DMs and all this about like, you shouldn't be that much. Like you need to tone it down. And then it's very similar to the things that I've seen, not only myself, but other people that I love go through the same thing where they they are being told you're being too much. You need to tone it down. And I like how Peter Mon says this, like, no, this isn't about appeasing the whole world. It's about you being you and being too much. It's OK to be who you are. That is your individual personality. And sometimes, at least for me, I started realizing in life, I started to slowly, especially, you know, the past year when I started to think, well, you know what, I kind of want to be less judgmental, I guess that's something I can work on because I'm very opinionated. Maybe I need to start kind of listening to other people's perspectives. And that's one of the things that I actually learned and to be more accepting of other people's perspectives. And that again, to me, is like self growth. And so for me, I was thinking, okay, I can do that. But in doing so, what I was doing is I wasn't just only listening to their perspective, but I actually stopped talking about the way that I felt about things. Like I stopped talking about those things to appease and make people comfortable. I started to not talk as much because I was like, you know, people say that I talk too much. Let me just not talk as much and try to be more quiet and try to like, yeah, just to kind of be more standoffish in a way. But I realized in doing so, I was losing parts of myself. I was diminishing my light just to make other people comfortable. And I wasn't okay with that. And I realized that I was slowly, yes, changing for the better in a certain sense, but at the same time, I was losing who I was as a person and who I always wanted to strive to be. And I started to think, and I said, you know what? It's going to have to change. I need to start loving myself for all that I am and not change myself for other people. If I want to dye my hair purple like I have it now, even though people may not agree with it, I'm loving it. I'm enjoying it. It brings joy to my life. And that's what matters. I'm having fun. If I am going out and being nice to someone because I genuinely want to be nice to somebody and I really feel it in my heart because that is who I am as a person, then gosh darn it, I'm going to do that. And if it hurts or annoys somebody else because that is my personality, well, then that person doesn't deserve a piece of me. That person does not deserve my time or my presence. At the end of the day, I am an individual just like they are. I have different thoughts and different ways of thinking about certain things just like they are. And so one thing that I have learned now, or at least I'm starting to reflect on right now, is that it's okay to listen to someone else's perspective. But that doesn't mean that my opinion doesn't count. That also doesn't mean that only their opinion is valid. We can have two separate opinions and have two different perspectives and two different ways of thinking about things and analyzing things. And it's okay. That's where we have communication. And at the end, we may end up disagreeing or at the end, we end up agreeing. But what's truly important is that we actually embrace ourselves for who we are. And as long as we're not hurting somebody else and we're always trying to uplift somebody, then that's all we need to really strive for, you know? It's just there gets to a point where you realize that you're so badly diminishing your life to make somebody else comfortable because the way you dress makes them uncomfortable because the way you dye your hair 
makes them uncomfortable because the way you speak your native language makes them uncomfortable because the way that you smile or the way that you want to uplift people makes them uncomfortable no I think in life, you have to be your true authentic self. You have to want to strive to be a better you and to grow and to be this person that you probably thought you'd never be. I think in life, we all grow. We all learn basically life lessons and we need to be ourselves. So be too much, like Peter Mond says, like we need to just be too much, be ourselves, embrace ourselves for who we are as an individual. I think that just the thought that we all have to understand is we all are entitled to our own opinions, but we should all be able to have genuine conversations and be able to listen to different perspectives. That's what it comes down to. Um, to me, I had to hold back a lot of my thoughts and I realized, you know what, it's okay to give your thoughts or opinions on certain things, but you also shouldn't diminish somebody else's just to prove a point or just to make yourself happy because you're like, ha, I told that person, this is what I proved right or wrong. It isn't even about that. But that being said, I do choose to be happy and I choose to continue to grow and learn as a person and also continue to be my authentic, genuine self. And you should too. All right. So before I leave, you guys, I did want to bring up this pretty good kind of poetic phrase. And it's not even a phrase, more like a paragraph. Um, and it's by Tanya Markul. I want to say that's the actual name. But she has a website called thugunicorn.com. So if you guys want to check it out, you guys can. But I realize that there's actually a lot of relatability with her. And pretty much so many similarities in our lives when I read more about her. Um, but she does have kind of like a blog and she shares a lot of her words and her work that she has done. And one of the things I wanted to talk about here was actually one that's called disclaimer. I just thought this was so fitting to the conversation that I'm talking about right now. The only thing is like Emily Baker said, <laughs> she uses the cursy words. So here's the thing in this channel, I try to avoid it at all times. So what I'm going to do actually is change one of the words, one or two of the words and kind of just switch it up a little bit so it could be a little bit more friendly for the channel. But it says, it goes something like this really quickly. I'm a real person. I struggle and I sparkle. I'm no longer afraid to say what makes me angry, sad, or what I think is unfair. I'm not scared to admit that at times I feel worthless, lost, or not enough. I'm also not hiding from love, beauty, aliveness, magic, or abundance anymore. I will not edit the sad, angry, screwed up parts of my story or the only magnitude of my triumphs to make anyone comfortable. I'm a real person. I struggle and I sparkle. I'm a real person. And that is something that, like I said, it really resonated with me because a lot of the times when people say these things that almost doesn't fully make sense, you end up kind of doubting yourself and you end up diminishing yourself and your light starts to actually diminish and you start to feel kind of like dang like feel a bit out of place or you feel like a little bit doubtful but in reality it's like no do not doubt your authentic self embrace who you are and everything about you so yeah i just wanted to kind of leave with that because i wanted to remind each and every one of you guys with your own individual thoughts and your own individual feelings that it's okay to be different. It's okay to be unique. So just remember that. And also remember, be too much. All right, you guys. So I hope all of you guys are staying safe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm also sending you guys such great vibrations and lots of love out your way. So until next time, you guys. Bye.